Hey guys, it's Bricks by 101 here again today. And I will be doing a review of the Mountain Fighter set 9462, The Mummy. So let's get to it. Um, first, we'll do the minifigures. Of course, the first one is The Mummy. I like the printing on him and his red eyes. Really cool. He's got some back printing. Does not have a double sided face. Next is. Anne Frank, the monster fighter, I believe that's what her name is. But, let me take. This gear out. That's her without her gear. She's got the scratched eye, like her torso, and her uh, leg printing. I'm going to take the hair off because I like the hair piece because of the clip. And because it's actually rubber, not plastic, which I think is an interesting mold. Um, here's her without her hair on. See the scar? And then she does have a double-sided face. I like the torso printing on the back. So, yeah. Here's the minifigures. So and now to get to the set. First, we have Anne Frank's um, little helicopter thing with the propeller and little rocket jet pack thingies it looks like this mold uh this these two pieces put together they look like uh like a fan or something it's really cool and then the, these on the bottom look like uh like ski shoes or something i don't know and then they got the controllers and the seat this blue seat part it's really cool. I think it's really cool mold because it's got like studs on the back that you can uh, put stuff into. But that's that. Now for my favorite part of the set, the chariot. And out of the two vehicles, the chariot is my favorite part. But I like these gold pieces. They're like Egyptian themed. They're really cool. And then the uh, mummy has a machete which I think is a really good touch. I wish they would have had an extra machete, but that's fine with me. It really doesn't matter. I like the wheels, uh, the wheel mold. They do move barely, not really, not very good. Uh, but here is the amulet and the scorpion piece. Uh, I like it. And then like the spears. And my favorite part about the chariot uh, this is actually my favorite part out of the whole set. Um, it is the horse with the flames coming out. And I like this green, uh, like, clear inner tube piece. It's really cool. It's like a lime green. But now I'm going to try to show you the glow-in-the-dark pieces. So let me get them for you. And... Um, I'm going to turn off the light. You can kind of see them. <laughs> uh, it's not cool. really. That's cool. Because the camera is not picking move it up. The, I'm going to move the guy up. Look, yeah. Um, you can't really see the glow in the dark. That's pretty much because you can't see the mummy. No, I can barely move. see the mummy. I'm yeah, sorry about this. But you can at least see the horse, and it they are both glowing. So if you're asking me what the ratings are, what I think the ratings are for this set, I think um, I give it a 9.5 only because um, the it is a really small set, and for 15 bucks, I don't. Um, I don't think that it's a very good set. It is a good set, but the glow-in-the-dark pieces, and I give it, like, a, a 7 for the just for the glow-in-the-dark pieces. I like them. They're a good touch. But, uh, and I also like, like, the Egyptian pieces, but for my rating, I give it, like, a 9.5, just because it's so small. And for a $12 set, I think, it's not it's not worth it just for 90 pieces but if you're just getting it for the glow-in-the-dark pieces I recommend you getting it 
If you're just getting it for the gold Egyptian pieces, I definitely recommend that you get it. If you're getting it for like the gear, if you're getting it for like the gear, then uh, I definitely recommend you get it. Um, I will also be doing a review uh, sometime soon about these three series seven minifigures that I have. Sorry, I don't have more. I haven't really gotten to get those. But, um, here, let me put the minifigures back on. Oops. Hold on. I'm sorry. The, uh, the another, another thing why I give it a 9.5 is because, um, is because the, the wheels, whenever you, like, push down on the chariot, like this, the wheels pop off. I think that's a really bad molding piece. I think they should put like a, a stud here to hold it in place so it won't come off but that's just my opinion um if you don't like it if you think the wheels go on perfectly and you have the set and you think it uh the wheels go on perfectly that's oh that's fine with me i really don't care it's just my opinion um because i tried to put the mummy on hold on i'll show you I tried to put the mummy on, and uh, see Oops. the wheels pop off. The both because pop you off. need to, in order to put the minifigures on, you need to at least like push a little bit, and when you're doing, uh, like if you're trying to. All you Lego fans, you should know that when you try to put a, a minifigure on something, you need to put a little force on. But it's just not like when you put the force on, the wheels pop off. But just another thing I wanted to add. Um, so that's the set. And I hope you like the review. It's my first review. And um, we'll be doing more reviews. Uh, Stay tuned for the unboxing of the Marvel Superheroes Loki's Cosmic Cube Escape. And don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you next time. Bye!